Hi everyone, my name is Michelle Rakebrand and I'm Assistant Counsel at CBIA and we're back today to answer your COVID-19 questions. And just as a reminder, the HR hotline is a free service for CBIA members companies. So I'm here today to cover CDC's interim guidelines for essential workers who may have been exposed to someone who is suspected or confirmed to have the coronavirus. While many of us have been able to work remotely pursuant to the governor's stay at home orders, various industries do have workers that are deemed essential and who must go into work. Essential workers who have had an exposure but remain asymptomatic should adhere to the following practices prior and during to their work shift. First, employers should pre-screen employees. And what this means is that they should measure an employee's temperature and assess symptoms prior to them starting work. Ideally, temperatures would be taken prior to the individual entering the facility. Even if an employee doesn't have a temperature or symptoms at the time they start their shift, they should really self-monitor throughout. And this should be done through the employer's occupational health program guidelines. Additionally, employees should wear a face mask at all times in the workplace for at least 14 days after the last exposure. Employees can issue face masks or they can improve employee supplied cloth face coverings if there's a shortage of masks. Employees should also continue to practice social distancing, which is maintaining a six foot distance whenever possible in the workplace. Additionally, all areas, including offices, bathrooms, common areas, and shared electronic equipment should be cleaned and disinfected throughout the day on a regular basis. Thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to follow us on Twitter or at CBIA News and on Facebook. Contact us at any time at 860-244-1900. Stay safe out there.